Alright, so I've been a Uber Eats driver for roughly pretty close to a week. And I've made roughly $400, I believe, in that amount of time. Um, and I wanted to do this video, and I will be doing a video, by the way. On some things you should consider um, having before you go out and do deliveries so be sure to check my channel out um, for that uh, video I'll even try to put it in the description below this video so that you can check it out and um, it might be something you might want to really think about having and consider getting before you do deliveries. The purpose of this video is to talk about um, mainly um, the things you should consider um, knowing about being an Uber Eats driver. And a lot of you may already know this, a lot of you may not depending on if you've watched other videos, and I assume you probably have. But being an Uber Eats driver puts a lot of wear and tear on your car, so you're going to have to service your car, depending on how much you do it. Um, the um, people who are making YouTube videos on showing you how they've made such and such money are likely making that much money because of a following few reasons and those are mainly that they live in a popular area that has a ton of expensive restaurants or just a lot of businesses that are with the uber eats platform the other reason that they are making a lot of money is is because they are getting big orders obviously mentioned in the first reason why another reason that they're making a lot of money is, is because they're putting in probably um quite a few hours and even more reason that they're making that kind of money is is that they're doing it during perk hours or peak hours so on the app, when you're in a, um, if you know places that have a lot of restaurants, it's good to camp those areas out sometimes because you'll sometimes get a little, little like area on your app. You have to be within a certain range and sometimes it won't show up on your, your phone. I've noticed that because my girlfriend, she does Uber Eats as well. While her phone may show that it's busy in the same like area that we're both at, like we could be in the same car and we could both have Uber Eats on, and her phone could show that it's busy there, but on my phone it's showing that it's not. It could show like it's it's giving like extra money for being for like going to these restaurants and getting the food and 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 uh, delivering them. You know, on my phone, it probably don't even show that. So I don't particularly know that whole reason as to why, but that that does show up sometimes. Um, you have to be within a certain range, I think. So if you're like 20 miles away from popular restaurants, you probably won't even see it. Because I know, like, for example, here where I am in Florida, I, I know without a shadow of a doubt that there are busy, it's busy, crazy busy in California for Uber Eats, but I can't see anything if I was to move the map to show California. I can't see anything that's going on in California for Uber Eats deliveries or, or restaurants taking orders. So, you know, you just have to basically be within a good amount of range of those areas and stuff. Also, make sure you get to those spots before popular traffic and stuff because when it starts getting busy, especially like Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays are like busy times to be on Uber Eats um, 
driver you can make a lot of orders that way one thing unfortunately i i hate to say this though is is that if you arrive at a restaurant and the order is not ready and this restaurant is behind on a bunch of orders you have to make the decision on whether you want to make money or whether you want to move on and it could hurt you by canceling that order and going to the next spot um, but unfortunately you have to decide that there's been times where I've waited at a restaurant a couple restaurants actually one night I went out and I waited for this one pizza place to get the pizza done and I, I lost so much money just standing around waiting for this pizza place to finish this pizza so that I could deliver it to a customer and I don't really even think it was worth it because the, the tip wasn't I don't even think I got that much of a tip at all I think I got like a couple of bucks or something like that so literally it's not it's it could hurt you it could get your account in trouble probably by canceling it I don't know it's basically up to you to make your judgment on that whole thing but like I said I went off on the rant part um so peak hours are really a good time to do orders and you can make a lot of money that way to spend depending on the restaurants and stuff if you're getting big orders when you see the notification pop up it'll say like where you're what the restaurant is and it'll show you on the map where you're taking it to you you have a short amount of time to decide whether you're going to accept that order or not if you like small orders like minimal under minimum wage orders you can take them but you know what even small orders add up if, if you get enough of them big orders are good too but you, you may or may not get big orders by big prices i mean like where you'll get one it's like 17 dollars and when it pops up it'll say something like 17 dollars and yada 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 plus it plus a tip or maybe includes a tip up front but customers have the ability to change their mind on how much they tip you they could give you a bigger tip or they could give you a lower tip uh they have up to an hour to, to decide or no tip at all so there's always that possibility by the way when it comes to those small orders like let's say somebody orders for burger king for just like a whopper and fries to take it like 20 minutes away you never really know that customer that customer could be so desperate that they could be willing to tip you like 20 bucks you never know man like listen i'll tell you a quick story right before i got my driver's license and i was able to freely go wherever i want to go I had Uber Eats delivered to my house quite a bit and there was one night in particular where I was like god dang I need some freaking uh, iced coffee and I went up on the Uber Eats app and I scheduled to have 15 vanilla iced coffees delivered 15 of them I'm sure that Uber Eats person was like wow i don't even know how the heck i'm gonna carry 15 freaking large vanilla ice coffees but okay and he did he brought them to me i gave him 20 dollars cash it's not that far away from where my parents used to live because like literally the mcdonald's was like right down the road unfortunately he had to come he probably spent i don't know maybe 10 minutes maybe 15 20 minutes and uber paid him plus the tip that um i gave him cash 20 dollars in cash plus another 10 dollars on the app for a tip because i was like look man i want you to have this up front because i didn't know anything about uber eats and how long it takes for them to get their money but now i do um and i gave him 20 bucks cash and then I tipped him 10 bucks on the app so he made like 
30 bucks. That's more money than he probably made in one one drive, pretty much. Just because I was that desperate. I don't know how much my order was for 15 of those. Probably like, what, $15 or something like that. I don't know how much he was, how much he made. So he'd probably be probably close to $35, $40 or more for those. Who knows? But you just never know who the customer is. And they might order a Big Mac and fries. And they might not tip you nothing to drive 30 minutes to deliver it to them. So, it's kind of one of them things where you have to decide. But those are the reasons, man. They also have promotion days too, where you could, you it's, it's once in a while, you'll be you could get like this this time where you deliver between this time frame and that time frame, and you'll earn extra money for each delivery that you make. Um, so those are the reasons why this people are making that much money you may or may not make that much money it just depends on your area the time of day you're delivering and you know the restaurants you're delivering um from so the small restaurants you may or may not get a big tip from to when you deliver to the customer it just depends and like I said, it's it's it, it's all about the time of day, the restaurant you're going to, and whatnot that you make your money, pretty much. Um, but yeah, so with that being said, that I think will wrap up this video, and I will probably be doing some more videos on Uber Eats and stuff to give you. Um, some stuff that I figure out and I learn and help some of you that are new as well. If you have any questions for me that you're more than welcome to leave them down in the comments below. And hey, you know what? If you like, you haven't subscribed to, um, signed up to the Uber Eats platform and want to sign up to the Uber Eats platform, I figure I put my affiliate affiliate code down there in the description maybe i'll make some money some monies Ooh, off of you being a new reads driver and maybe it'll be a successful one and i'll make millions of dollars off of you and i can retire probably not or i could probably get suspended because you're i'm affiliated with you I don't know. Anyways, it's down there in the description below if you want to use it to sign up for being an Uber Eats driver. Maybe I'll make a few dollars off of you delivering. I think it was like after you've delivered 150 orders or something like that. Like, I get like $200 or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what it was. It's probably nothing. It was probably a one-time event for all I know. But it's down there if you want to use that. If not, you don't have to. But anyways, that's it for this video. I will see you in the next upcoming video. Check out some of my other videos on this channel. They will, they're probably guaranteed to make you cringe. Now I just have to hit the stop button because I'm recording this with my phone. And you know what? I'm too lazy to edit this stuff out right now with my phone. So I figure what I'll do is I'll just upload it straight to YouTube. Just like it is. Unedited. Commercial free. Well, probably not commercial free because you gotta have a word from my sponsor. Oh, by the way, if I look stoned or baked, it's because I took a, um, a sleep pill because I have to go to work today. At the time of this video, it is uh, Monday. Yeah, it's Monday, the seventh of December, or something like that. I don't know what today is. It's just a Monday, and my sleepy pill is kicking in now. So I'm looking like I'm stoned and stuff because I'm getting sleepy.